Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here you will learn German without even realizing it by reading mangas, in our case, J Monogatari. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your comment, your like, your feedback, your question, anything you want and I will answer. So this is a pre-recorded video. I am abroad for three weeks again. As you know, I work mainly in the tourism business and we have a travel season. So I will be... Um, well, it depends what video you're watching, somewhere in Canada or the States, yeah? So really excited about that, but it's a lot of work and I'm trying to pre-record many things so you will not run out of content here. So today, J Monogatari, enjoy, learn something new and of course, like and subscribe. Thank you, enjoy! So daran we can use when the context is clear or when we explain the context in the following sentence. So example, I, I was like, I didn't know and I say, Arissa was fault for that. It sounds a little strange in English. If Arissa war daran schuld, for example. Arissa war daran schuld. Of course, we can only use daran if we know what we're talking about. Because if we don't know, then the other person will say, fault for what? What do you mean? So da in the preposition, only for context you know, or if the context follows in a subordinate sentence. For now at least. Yeah? So, Arissa was at fault. Arissa war daran schuld. Genau. I think it should be clear. If not, let me know, right? We can talk about this grammar or anything else you want. Let's go to the next page. Okay, they're still in the bar or whatever. And they say, Sei ruhig, Mann. Be quiet, man. Sei is a little irregular for imperative. This is grammar uh, A1. I also have videos about it. I don't mean it's bad not to know, yeah? I'm just saying it's A1. Uh, giving an order. Sei ruhig, Mann. Be quiet. The next one is also imperative. Sprich nicht so laut, du Idiot. Sprechen. Imperativ. Sprich. Uh, don't speak so loud, you idiot. Sprich nicht so loud. And then, I don't mark the things because they are clear, right? Wenn Hiroshi das hört, macht er dich kalt. This one, we can talk a little bit more about it. The verbs first. Hören, to hear. Machen to make. So we have a nice when or if sentence, depends. So when he or she hears that, he will make you cold. Uh, dich is accusative. Kalt machen, please learn it as a pattern. You can write it in our notebooks or yeah, on a piece of paper, whatever you have. Um, kalt machen to make someone cold. I mean, you know what it means, right? To, to yeah, finish someone off. And they're like, oh, hmm, and so on. Sag das nicht noch einmal, kapiert. Okay, again, imperativ. Don't say that again. Or once more, got it, kapiert. And he's like, yo, who's this again? Oh, I'm so confused with the people. I mean, I know some of them, but I'm focusing so much on teaching <laughs> that I can't even, uh, yeah, you know, recognize the faces and stuff. So, was macht ihr denn hier to make? Machen, then is um, again for emphasize. Was macht ihr hier? Would be totally fine. Was macht ihr hier? But was macht ihr denn hier? Means I didn't expect you here. Yeah, what are you doing here? Three question marks. Müsstet ihr nicht im Krankenhaus liegen? Müsstet is Konjunktiv 2 auf müssen and liegen to lay, to lie down. Yeah, um, so im Krankenhaus, in the hospital. Shouldn't you lie in the hospital? Missed that. Um, this is the third conjunctive 2. We have maybe, depends how I edited it in this video and the last one. So in this conjunctive 2 is for unreal situations. So the real situation is the guy is not in the hospital. So even in English, when you know good English, it makes sense. Shouldn't you be in the hospital? So you're not in the hospital. Conjunctive 2. So next one, ach, well, das sind doch nur Kratzer. Der Kratzer is male, the scratch. Those are just scratches. Do, das sind doch nur Kratzer. 
hey Barkeeper, einen Kaffee bitte. Hey Barkeeper, one coffee please. It's not a whole sentence, but einen is accusative, right? Because we say, ich nehme einen Kaffee. I take a coffee please. Um, next one. Hey, habt ihr schon gehört? It's an easy perfect tense. Haben gehört. Schon means already. Hey, did you hear already? So wie es aussieht, weiß Hiroshi mittlerweile, was mit Koji passiert ist. So wie es aussieht. So aussehen, to look a certain way. Wissen, to know. Passiert ist, perfect tense of passieren, to happen. Mittlerweile means in the meanwhile, or by now we would say, everything else is grammar. So wie es aussieht means it looks like, or the way it looks, so wie es aussieht, so like it looks. He, sounds strange in English, but this is what it means. He or she knows by now, and what does he know? We will introduce the fact that he knows with was. He knows what happened with Koji. So the last part of the sentence, a subordinate sentence, reflects, or not reflects, yeah, or or maybe goes into detail, talks about what was said before. What does he know? He knows what happened or that something happened with Koji. Okay, this is it for today. I hope you liked it, you enjoyed it, you learned something new, even a pattern, a grammar, everything helps. So don't forget to write things down, make your questions, work with the stuff you're learning here. Don't just um, passively let it run by you. Of course, you can also. But it would be better if you would uh, really actively using the stuff I'm telling you. And of course, leave your questions in the comments. When I have internet or if I have internet, I will answer them. The next three weeks, I will be a little bit offline because I'm on a cruise ship and I don't know how the internet works there. I think it's not that good, but we will see. So if I'm a little bit silent in the comments, it's just temporary. I see you very soon and yeah, stay well. Bye.